Uh, good morning, everybody. How are you doing? Welcome back to another episode of that show that will not be named. I am your host, Brian, or Two Game Prince. Uh, going by our last video, uh, this particular little piece snippet section, whatever, is going to focus on Scooby Doo and the Alien Invaders, which is probably as old as I can remember, probably one of the oldest. Uh, Scooby-Doo, my memories of Scooby-Doo, uh, before that being, uh, the Boo Brothers. Now, the thing I love most about Scooby-Doo and the Alien Invaders is it's one of the first, as far as I know, as far as I know, the, one of the first canonical introductions, uh, of, uh, aliens into the Scooby-Doo universe. Which I found super interesting because, you know, stereotypical, oh, Scooby-Doo, they go find a bad guy, unmask them, they're a human, humans, and then, you know, adding that whole, you know, life lesson, humans are the real monsters in this world. <laughs> uh, but no, in this one, there are actual aliens. And Shaggy falls in love with an alien. So, it, it, was, it was just very interesting in the end, and yeah, it was sad to see them leave and all that crap, but... I thought it was super interesting. And then they had, like... I like how they're still, all these years later, adding in alien stuff into the show. And it's just like, why Why is the gang so surprised? They've seen aliens before. Personally, they've known aliens in this movie. They <coughs> were, I guess you could say, friends, acquaintances of some sort. They liked them enough to help them out. So, I don't know why they seem so surprised now. But it's like, uh, there was... Uh, in one of the newer episodes of, uh, What's No Scooby-Doo, uh, uh I, I say newer episodes as if it happened, you know, like last week, uh, we're talking, we're probably talking a few years back now, uh, and What's No Scooby-Doo, when the alien egg breaks free in the lab, and it's like, oh shit, aliens, uh, what are you guys so surprised about? You've literally seen aliens in a movie, you were friends with an alien for a little while, like, uh, I, I don't get it, but I originally, when I, when I saw these movies, mind you, uh, I saw Alien Invaders back on VHS. I saw all Miles Scooby-Doo films on VHS. And I'm so mad we never kept any of them. We either sold them or they get lost or something or left in storage or some shit like that. But we, we forgot all of them. They're gone. And when I had originally seen them, it was originally Alien Invaders that I thought the pilot episode of Courage Cowardly Dog was on. Because alien stuff, you know... I originally thought that, oh, it's an alien Scooby-Doo movie, Dogs and Aliens, so that must have been Courage, Dogs and Aliens, uh, Chicken from Outer Space must have been on that VHS. No, I was watching a video the other day and somebody explained that it was actually on The Witch's Ghost, which is probably going to be the last video of this series, but uh, Scooby-Doo and the Alien Invaders, like I said, one of my oldest introductions to Scooby-Doo, one of my favorite, just because of the storyline and everything, if I had to pick out one fault from the film, it would be... B, you can kind of tell, already tell who the bad guys are at the beginning of it. Uh, figured it was the three people working on the satellites. Had a feeling right from the get-go. Uh, kind of too easy to figure out. And of course the MPs were too suspicious, so obviously they were working with them. So when it comes to detective-wise, how well the movie was at slowly feeding you information for you to try to decide... Who the bad guy was, too easy to pick, uh, pick out. Uh, and that would be my only gripe with the movie. Other than that, fantastic scenery, great music, that, that whole song, The Aliens Are Here, such a great song. I don't know what it is about this Silver Age-ish Scooby-Doo music. It was just fan freaking -tastic. I mean, back in the 1960s or 1970s or whatever the hell it came out, it was very like malt shop, Woodstock type music that they just threw in but then after they got like into early 2000s and they started making it its own music making their own music for the movies it was just fantastic and uh um also really liked uh, alien of it is also introduced one of my favorite uh one time add-in scooby-doo characters lester he's the crazy kooky conspiracy ufo guy who lives in the desert and paints pictures of space and actually his paintings 
his whole character and everything in the movie actually ended up inspiring me to do like space type okay got it. okay i'm gonna work with this glare i'm gonna work with this glare actually inspired me to do uh this artwork in space type art so if i was to get anything from that movie majorly it would definitely be uh artistic inspiration uh because i remember yeah, looking back at the movie now i may look back at it and see like oh well that doesn't look quite right or that looks shittier but when you were a kid the visuals of this movie in my opinion were just absolutely fantastic you could really tell they put heart and soul into these movies something about these four particular scooby-doo films and especially alien innovators was just absolutely fantastic it was a very good transition from you know like ghosts and goblins to space technology and things from outer space absolutely fantastic um i think that's uh i think that's about pretty much gonna do it for this uh episode i will see you next time with scooby-doo on zombie island Alrighty, i'll see you guys there bye bye